I think what you're going to see here today is a true game changer. This is one of the most disruptive technologies that we've come across in some 28 years as an incubator and accelerator. Start off, we're going to do a, just a, a quick um, overview of the, uh, the problem, what we have developed as a solution, and then the applications for the technology. And then we'll um, uh, fire up one of the uh, engines here for you real quick. We have an, that's what's buzzing in the background, is the uh, analyzer. We'll put that in the exhaust so you can see that there are no emissions coming out, so you are safe with this engine running in here in this closed space. And then we'll um, uh, uh, have the, uh, the mayor and the county executive, and we have uh, Kimberly Gibson from EWI here for some comments, and then after that we'll open it up for some questions. So let's go ahead and run down through. What's the problem out there right now? The reason that we went after this technology is uh, small engines are the worst polluting engines that are out there right now. They produce uh, an enormous amount of hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Um, they, are, they are absolutely the worst uh, polluters that are out there. For every uh, uh, one automotive engine that is built, four to five small engines are, are manufactured. We, we think we have a solution right now, and the solution is our mixing block, which you'll see here uh, on the technology in, ju in just a moment. The um, uh, technology allows the engine to run on 100% hydrogen, and that's industrial grade. It's not lab pure hydrogen. It's cheaper to fuel. It transfers over multiple engine sizes. That's an exciting piece about the technology. Rick Sacconi is the inventor of the, of the technology, and, and we're going to uh, have him do some uh, demonstrations here on the engine. But one of the things that he did in this process was he created something that has transferability with the technology. So. This engine is a six and a half horsepower engine. That's a nine horsepower engine. We've gone up to 13 horsepower. We believe we'll be able to get up to 30 horsepower. We just haven't gone that far in the process. But it transfers from engine to engine. It's less expensive to manufacture and assemble. Um, our device has roughly uh, 40 uh, parts to it. Carburetors have 60 plus parts to it. Fuel injectors have anywhere from 133 parts or more. It extends the life of the engine. Um, because there's no carbon in hydrogen, it doesn't plug the plugs, it doesn't uh, contaminate the oil, the oil stays clean, um, it has a, uh, an enormous amount of benefits from the uh, maintenance side uh, of the engine. Um, it virtually eliminates the, eliminates the need to change oil. This engine has over 700 hours of operating time on it. Uh, during the question and answer, I'll open it up, I'll show you the oil. It's as clean as the day the engine came to us with the oil in it. We've never changed the oil. It provides uh, near zero, zero emissions, so uh, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. What do we do with it? Now that we've got it, wh what can we do with it? The applications are many. Every one of these listed categories up here, the technology can apply to, portable generators, standby generators, uh, golf carts, outdoor power equipment, um, ATVs right on down the list, farm engines, construction vehicles. Um, many manufacturers in the United States producing th this these different types of uh, devices or applications, many foreign manufacturers. With that, um, the, the last application, and a, and a point I want to make is, with alternative energy, everybody asks, why aren't you doing something with the automobile? To get to the top of the mountain, you have to learn to climb it. You can't just start at the top and then try to figure out how you got there. This way, we can integrate into um, the automotive technology. This is technology that's ready to manufacture right now. We don't have to wait until there's a local pump at the local gas station to give you a refill of your hydrogen. You can get this hydrogen right from uh, a local vendor. Matheson Valley, uh, any of the gas companies out there, they have it today right now. The cylinders are all manufactured right now. There's nothing special that has to be done to enable our technology to integrate uh, out into the, into the marketplace. So with that, I'm going to introduce the, the uh, and I'm going to say this and embarrass him in front of him, the genius behind this technology because Rick is the one who literally made, made it happen and he's done an extraordinary thing here today and deserves an enormous amount of uh, uh, credit for, for what's happened. And he's going to start the uh, engine for you. Yeah, uh, hydrocarbon, zero. Carbon monoxide, zero. NOx is zero. Uh, what's happened now is it started at 20 parts per million oxygen, it's come down to uh, 
There's no engine that we know of that when it's running and the exhaust comes out the tailpipe that produces oxygen. This is putting oxygen back into the air. A normal small engine like this, if it was running right now, the hydrocarbons run anywhere from 155 to 190 uh, hydrocarbons, par hydrocarbon parts per million. We're at zero. Okay. I have to tell you, um, we, have, we have a great uh, support uh, system. We have two of the uh, best partners we could uh, ask for in Kevin Davis and Rosemary O'Hara. We, we certainly uh, appreciate them and uh, all they do. But the families behind the two of us um, are pretty incredible. The reason this incubator exists, the reason that this city is so uh, forward moving in, in our economic development initiatives goes to this man right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mayor of Akron, Don Pasqualic. I, I wished I was a better historian because I would say I feel like the guy who took the call or made the call, whichever one it was, from Alexander Graham Bell, like Eureka or something. I don't know. There's probably a historical word, something that I should say because I feel like most of you probably sitting here witnessing this, that it is a remarkable day to look at this machine and see that someone has solved the problem much the same as Ale Alexander Graham Bell did with communications. Um, I just can say congratulations. You know, I look at something like this, I know how many years, how many hours, how much time you guys put into this to get this done right. You could have walked away a long time ago and done something else, but you stuck with it to make this a better society and to make Akron a better place. And so for that, thank you. This breakthrough in the small internal combustion engine is truly remarkable. Each year, EWI selects a handful of small companies that we want to work with and help them mature their technology, help them insert their technology into the marketplace. And this year, Hydrogen Energy Systems is one of those companies that we chose. We are excited to have them join the ranks of EWI membership and to get the support of 140 engineers um, with seven to 10 years of industrial experience and uh, a whole lot of exciting um, ideas for you. The innovation that Hydrogen Energy Systems uh, announces today fills a market demand that we have seen in the United States and across the world uh, for reliable, cost-effective, safe, and clean power generation. The success of this small engine, I don't want to overstate this, but I want to say that the success of this small engine could help jumpstart the hydrogen economy by generating a market for hydrogen that's supplied in cylinders by many other great Ohio companies as well. So we see this as a giant leap forward. Um, we don't need to wait for government to pay for infrastructure for the new clean energy economy. We have it right here. We have it right now. Thank you, everybody.